welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have 10 brand new mum hacks to share with you. You guys seem to always love my hacks videos, so I'm really excited to share these ones with you because there are some really good ones in this video. So I hope you really enjoy this. If you guys are new to my channel and you like content like this, I would love you to consider subscribing by clicking the little red button below because I am always posting hack content and I would love to have you as a viewer. So without further ado, let's get into my hacks. So for this first hack, I thought I would show you how to seal a bag of crisps without using a bag clip. I recently showed this hack on my Instagram and it had well over 100,000 views and so many positive comments. So this hack is perfect if you're out for a picnic and you don't have a bag clip on you and you finish half a bag of crisps. So all you do is fold down the top bit fold in the two sides and then kind of like turn it inside out on itself. So I'll show you what I mean. While we're talking about crisps, I thought I would show you a really cute way to share them rather than ripping open a crisp packet and like laying them on a table. You can roll down the top bit and then roll up the bottom bit and it turns into this really cute little serving bowl. So I'll show you how to do it. to show you how to make a lollipop saver. So next time your child has a Kinder Egg, consider saving this part, which the toy actually comes in because it makes a really good lollipop saver. All you have to do is put a little hole into the plastic here and then you can stick your lollipop in and save it because little ones don't always finish these. Obviously be careful when you are making the hole, but this saves sticky fingers and it's something you can have in your handbag and a good way to recycle these little pots. This next hack is for babies and toddlers that are over six months old and like messy play. One of my sons in particular used to love messy play, but whenever it came to playing with sand or slime, he would just put it into his mouth and try to eat it. So this is an idea for edible sand. So all you do is basically blend up some Cheerios and let them play with it that way. I'm not saying that you should encourage them to eat the sand, but by doing it this way, if and when they do eat it, it's not a big deal. have a cheeky toddler that likes to pull the toilet roll like this and take it all around the house or just generally use too much when they're on the toilet, I have a really simple hack for you. All you have to do is squish your toilet roll so that it is nearly flat and that makes it harder for them to spin around so they'll use less and they can't just do this. Next hack is a way to stop your child's ice lolly or popsicle from dripping all down their arm when they take longer to eat it and it melts. So for years I've been talking about cupcake cases and how you can take an ice lolly, put it through a cupcake case and that really helps to catch a few of the drips. But recently I saw a hack that is possibly even better than that and that is to take a little Pringles can take the lid off, put a slit into the lid, and then pop the ice lolly through that, and that catches the drips even better. And I 
also have another Pringles lid hack and this one is actually from one of my viewers. I shared on Instagram how I like to save and recycle my goo dessert pots because they make perfect little portions of mac and cheese. So I'll batch cook my mac and cheese for the kids and then put them into these little pots. And normally I would cover them with cling film, but someone messaged me and said that the Pringles lids actually fit perfectly onto the goo pots. So I've tried it and it works amazingly well. And while I'm on a roll with lid hacks, the coffee that we buy comes with these lids on it. And these are also the same that you get on the small Nutella jars. And these fit perfectly on two cans. This next hack is a summer hack for your paddling pool. So if your kids wanna play in the paddling pool, but then they don't wanna be freezing and you don't wanna be boiling kettles to warm up the water, you can actually connect your garden hose to your tap in your kitchen and then make it warmer. So I have used a balloon here. All you do is cut off some of the balloon, attach it to the hose using some duct tape and then attach it to your kitchen sink and then turn on the water that way. Or you can also buy connectors on Amazon so you can connect your kitchen tap to your hose. And this next hack is a really simple way to organize your kids' pajamas that keeps them nice and tidy and also in their set, so it's really easy to find. So the first step is to take their pajama bottoms and fold them into a little parcel like this, and then place that onto the matching top. So I place it just there, like on the neck, fold in the arms and the two sides, and then fold up this bit all the way up, and then it almost comes around and you can actually tuck it into the neck of the t-shirt. So you have this really cute little parcel. It's almost like a little envelope and it looks neat and tidy and it's all together. Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits make us both come crashing to the floor something to save us close but we're strangers feel like we're far apart Stripping down recommendation than a hack but I thought you guys would like it. It is a non-alcoholic gin and tonic so if you're feeling like you've had too much alcohol during lockdown or you might be pregnant this is a really nice drink. It's the Robison's Crushed Lime and Mint and if you serve it with ice it honestly tastes like a mojito or a gin and tonic. It's a really nice replacement so I want to show you guys that. like this with ice and sparkling water or I think it would actually be quite nice with gin as well. Right, so that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!